Hello and welcome to today's daily business practice session. Today, we will be taking certain MCQs based on important topics from today's The Hindu as well as Indian Express Daily Edition. The important topics which we are going to discuss have been displayed on your screen and a timestamping of the same has been provided in the description box below. So now, let us begin our today's session. So this is our first topic. The topic reads when Palakkar paid the musical tributes to three Carnatic legends. This topic has appeared in today's The Hindu Delhi edition and the immediate context is that the Carnatic music community in Palakkad celebrated three legends on Saturday by organizing different functions. So in this context, the immediate theme which comes to our mind from the UPSC scheme of syllabus is the art and culture. Even if you go by the previous year question paper analysis, you will see for example in 2017, the question was asked in this fashion. The question said that with reference to Manipuri Sankirtana, consider the following statements. There were three statements given and you have to find the correct statement. So from this we get a signal that in UPSC the themes related to music, art etc are really important. So try to attend this question. From today's news we have framed this question, DPP question number 1. With reference to the cultural history of India, consider the following statements. There are three statements given. First, Gharanas, a system of social organization linking the musicians by lineage is an important practice within the Carnatic music. This statement is factually correct because Gharanas are associated not with the Carnatic but with the Hindustani music. The chief characteristics of this Gharana is a Guru Shishya Parampara. This means that under this parampara or under this system, the disciples learn under a particular guru and the guru transmits his musical knowledge and a particular style to his disciple. So that is why it is known as a guru shishya parampara. The statement too says that thumri based on the mixed ragas is a form of semi-classical Hindustani music. This is a correct statement. Thumri is basically a common style of semi Hindustani classical music. The text is mainly romantic as well as devotional and therefore it usually revolves around a girl's love for Krishna. The language in which this Thumri is performed is basically a dialect of Hindi language and it is known as the bridge bhasha. Now coming to the third statement, Tyagraj, Shyama Sastri and Muttu Swami Dikshitar are together known as the trinity of the Dhrupad Gharana of Hindustani music. So again, this statement is also incorrect. The reason being that they are the trinity of the Carnatic music and not the Hindustani music. And because two statements are incorrect, the question asks you that how many of the above given statements are correct. So that means that only the second that is A, only one is the correct answer. As far as the answer to this previous year question is concerned, it is option B, 1 and 3 only. Now coming to our second topic. The topic is from the section of environment and pollution. Again this news is from the Hindu Delhi edition. The topic reads particulate pollution increasing in Rajasthan cities says the CSC report. And this is the very immediate context of this article. The particulate pollution has been increasing in the cities of Rajasthan which faces multi-pollutant crisis with the levels of several gaseous pollutants such as nitrogen dioxide as well as ozone beginning to rise. So in this context, also in the previous year, the questions have been asked. For example, in 2022, the question was asked, in the context of WHO air quality guidelines, consider the following statements. There were four statements given and you have to find the correct statements. Similarly, in today's question we are asking, with reference to the particulate matter, consider the following statements. There are three statements. 1. PM 2.5 are much tinier and cannot be seen with the naked eye. So basically PM 2.5 are fine inhalable particles with diameters that are generally less than 2.5 micrometers. And therefore, they are so tiny that they cannot be seen with the naked eye. So hence, this statement is correct. 
The second statement says that NCAP, which means the National Clean Air Program, aims to achieve 50 to 70 percent of reduction in PM10 and PM2.5 concentrations by 2024. So basically, NCAP is a long-term time-bound national level strategy, which targets to achieve 20 to 30 percent reduction in PM10 and PM2.5. It takes the base year as to be 2017 and the target year as to be 2024. So that is why this statement is factually incorrect. Statement 3 says that certain types of particulate matter have been classified as carcinogens. Yes, this statement again is the correct one. And the examples of such particulate matter are diesel exhaust particles. So therefore, because two statements are correct, option B that is only two is the correct answer. As far as the answer to this previous question is concerned, it is option B, one and four only. Now come to the third topic, DPP question number three from the Indian Express newspaper. RBI allows a compromise settlement with willful defaulters and fraud accounts. So such type of questions which relate to the financial aspects of our economy becomes very important. For example, a previous year question has been taken. The question says that which of the following statements best describes the term scheme for sustainable structuring of stressed assets that is S4A. So it was then asked from the context of the current affairs. So try to attempt this question today also. Question number DPP3. Which of the following does not reflect a willful defaulter? So obviously for this to answer, you should know that what exactly do we mean by willful defaulter? So there are four options. A says defaulting in repayment of loan despite having the capacity to repay. So yes, this is the correct definition of a willful default. B says defaulting in repayment of a loan despite utilization of finance for the purpose for which the loan was taken. Now this is incorrect. The reason being the willful defaulter will be declared such when he or she or the enterprise has borrowed a loan money from the bank for certain purpose, but it has not utilized that sum of money for the same purpose. The case is the diversion of funds. So in this case, there is a willful default, but if it is not there, then obviously there is no willful default. So obviously here we can mark this option B as the correct answer because it was asking that which does not reflect the willful default, right? As far as the answer to the previous year question is concerned, it is option B. Next coming to the DPP question number four from the map section as we all are aware that every year around two to three questions are asked from the world based map locations. This question is taken from the Hindu newspaper. In it, the news is regarding the Filipino volcano. If you go by previous year question here, a reference question is taken from 2014, whereby it asks that Turkey is located between which of the following seas. So we know that it is between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea and hence B is the correct answer. Today's question is Mount Mayon Volcano erupted recently located in which of the following countries? Indonesia, Italy, Philippines, Colombia and we know with the basic concepts of the plate tectonics theory that all these regions are vulnerable with the volcanic eruptions because they have the convergence plate boundaries. However, Mount Mayon Volcano is located in the Philippines. So a factual and a small question, but an important one. Now we shall look at our DPP question number five, which is taken from the Indian Express newspaper and is in relation to the investment in India. The topic reads UAE emerges as a fourth largest investor in India in the financial year 23. So such topics which are related to the macro economy of India are very important. 2017, a reference question is taken. Which of the following has or have occurred in India after its liberalization of the economic policies in 1991? So try to attempt this question. Question for today is consider the following statements regarding the foreign direct investment. One, 
इट प्रोवाइड्स द इन्वेस्टर कंट्रोल ओवर द बिजनेस अनलाइक द फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन्वेस्टमेंट दिस इज करेक्ट टू से सिंगापुर यूएस एंड यू ए आर द टॉप थ्री सोर्सेज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट इन इंडिया दिस स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट एंड हेंस ए दैट इज वन ओनली विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर सो दीज वर द्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टूडेज द हिंदू एज वेल एज इंडियन एक्सप्रेस डेली एडिशन होप यू हैव इंजॉयड दिस सेशन ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट एंड स्टडी हार्ड